What's going on guys? So we are out here at the Texas Pride 20,000 pound built, 12,000 pound rated dump trailer. So this is a really cool trailer and the purpose of the video today is to talk to you about some of the differentiation between a trailer like this versus some of the competitors on the market because people are asking all the time, should I get this? Should I get a PJ? Should I get a Diamond C? And it's good to know at least what the differentiation between the different trailers are. So hang tight, I'll be right back. Okay guys, let's first start by taking a look at the top rail. The top rail is this piece of steel right here. A lot of people that look at trailers fail to look at that specific piece, mainly because they see reinforcements, they see things running down the side that look like they make the trailer more structural, but what they need to understand is why trailers are made certain ways. So when you look at some brands that claim to use a solid floor or basically where the seam goes down the center, they essentially take the bottom floor of the trailer, the flat piece of metal, they bend it up right here, and then they go over the top and they bend it around like this. So it appears as if there's a top rail, but in fact, it's simply the floor transitioning to the side, bending over and then back around. In the case of Texas Pride, they use heavy wall boxed tubing as the top rail. So this piece of top rail right here is separate from the wall and it's welded to the wall after they attach it up here, of course. And this piece is a heavy gauge boxed piece of steel that's used as the top rail. Why this is important, because from a structural perspective, this piece of boxed steel is gonna add more structural support to the trailer than simply attaching a C-channel or a side bracing to other parts of the trailer. On some of the dump trailers, especially the ones that don't flange out like this, they will put additional boxed railings going down the side. But in the case of Texas Pride in general, they put this boxed heavy walled section of tube going down the sides, the front, the other side, and even throughout the gate. So that is one huge advantage. So instead of giving you the perception of a top rail, they actually give you a boxed section to put up here, and that's really nice. The second thing that I notice about Texas Pride trailers are the welds. I am very satisfied with the quality of the welds that they did on this trailer. It's sealed up really nicely, even across the bottom, you see that all the welds look really nice and clean. Now I'm not gonna say every trailer is gonna have perfect welds, but it's nice to know that at least most of your major welds have been done really nice, they look really clean, and they don't look like they did a sloppy job with them. Something that's definitely worth pointing out as well is when you get this telescopic boom arm in front, they attach it to 3 8 inch thick steel plating. So this steel plating is incredibly thick. It's almost a half an inch thick. It is very robust and it's attached in such a way that you can see that they really focused on making sure that the steel would never fail in these areas. Look at the full welds there full welds all the way around the, the base of this plate as well as on the sides. And when you look at some of the other brands that do a telescopic arm, even the higher priced brands, you see that they use a much thinner steel, generally a quarter inch thick steel here. So I love the fact that they use much heavier gauge steel in these areas where you really don't want the steel to fail. Something else I really like is the fact that they use these T-handles. So even some of your more expensive brands or the brands that people think are better use chains. Some of them use T-rails like this or T-arms like this, but a lot of them use chains. And they expect you to loop the chain around a bar or to put it back and hook a chain in place. And those chains are going to cause a lot of paint damage, surface damage, and they essentially wear out anything that's around them over time. Now that's not too bad of a thing until you get to the point to where it goes through the finish and starts causing the trailer to rust prematurely. So I love the fact that they have these little T holders in place so when you open up the back gate, you simply drop these in place and it holds it open. When you're done, it closes and I put a little rubber pad back here so when that part hits, it doesn't cause any damage. And I really like the fact that they use those. I like that they offer aluminum ramps as an option as well. A lot of manufacturers offer a standard duty and a heavy duty ramp, but they're essentially both steel versions of each other, and you end up going to a heavier duty ramp that weighs significantly more. In the case of Texas Pride, they have ramps that weigh significantly less, but can hold as much weight as their heavier duty ramps. So I do like the fact that they offer aluminum ramps, and the ramps slide in from the back, and they kind of sit underneath the bed or the dump body when it's up. Here's a big one. The fact that you can spec in larger axles 
wheels and tires on whatever rating of trailer you have. So if you get a 12,000 pound or a 10,000 pound or a 14,000 pound trailer and you want to spec it with 9,000 pound axles and J-rated tires, you have that capability. You're not stuck with whatever product just rolls into the showroom of a dealership. You have the flexibility of making custom choices like your wheels, your tires, and your axles, which could be very important for you, especially if you're trying to spec out an overbuilt trailer like I did. I really like the fact that they made the dump body slightly wider than the standard frame. So this gives you the ability to haul wider equipment in the back, such as skid steers and mini excavators, things that might be slightly over 79, 80 inches. You can haul them in the back of a trailer like this, where you may be limited on other brands who try to line these two pieces up and makes the bed surface itself narrower. So this gives you more room inside of the actual dump body to load your equipment. And I think people would appreciate that, especially if you're carrying around tractors or things that require that additional space of clearance. A big one and one of the main reasons that I love this trailer and I like Texas Pride is the fact that they took their 20,000 pound spec trailer and they were able to derate it for me on the sticker to 12,000 pounds, which again gives me the ability to pair it to my F450, which has a gross vehicle weight rating of 14,000 pounds, 12,000 for the trailer puts me at 26,000 pounds. So if I ever have to use this for business, if I ever have to make money using this trailer, I don't have to worry about getting into that 26,000 and one pound and beyond range, which would require me to have a CDL if I'm going to be using it to make any type of profit or money. I love the fact that they include a 20,000 pound rated hitch coupler up front. So that's really nice. And it's a really convenient model that actually self latches. So when you drop this over the ball, it opens up and latches back over, which is really convenient. And it has a very solid pin in place and a nice little hook here that you can grab. As I've said in other videos, big fan of the solar charging option, has the two deep cycle batteries and the nicer higher end pump that is standard on all of their dump trailers. Plus, I love the fact that they offer this with a telescopic boom. Some trailer manufacturers haven't done that yet. And some people are going to wonder what's the advantages of this over a scissor lift or a dual ram setup. The advantage here is that you have leverage on your side. You're not trying to lift the dump bed up from the bottom or the middle portion, which requires you to reinforce the frame structure to support those rams or that center scissor lift. This is the most efficient setup you can get. Very similar to a commercial dump truck, which puts that ram at the front as well. This provides that telescopic leverage that pushes up from the front of the trailer versus the middle portion or the back of the trailer, which puts a lot more stress. And you lose a lot of energy over the frame structure when you're trying to do that. It's basically saying, you know, if you if you have a box in front of you, a long box, and you're trying to lift it this way from this end, it would be very difficult. But if you get to that side and you simply prop it up, it takes a lot less energy. So you don't lose that energy by using a system like this. It supplies the full lifting force directly to the dump body, which is what you want. I love the fact that they provide a 12,000 pound front tongue jack as well. So that is really nice. Now, I wish they had this one with a hydraulic option. And if they did, I didn't think about asking for it. But the hydraulic option would basically give me the ability to raise it or lower it using the hydraulic pump. I know they offer it on some other trailers. So I'm sure they probably could have put it on here if I had asked for it or thought about it. And I just simply didn't. But what I'll probably end up doing is using a socket adapter on the end here to connect to my impact driver and my drill to be able to raise and lower it much quicker. That's not a big gripe, but I love the fact that they have the 12,000 pound jack on the front. And something else a lot of people don't think about. So the hubs on this specific unit are not oil bath. They are greasable hubs. There's a grease zerk in the center. I can pop the cap off and I can grease my bearings through the center cap. It's not a self-lubricating system in terms of like an oil bath setup you might see. A lot of people with these types of trailers or even large gooseneck trailers prefer grease and they actually told me I had the option. The reason I went with the greasable zerk as opposed to the oil bath is because if you're hauling a heavy load and you really need your trailer brakes to function, if you have a leakage or you have a problem with a seal on the oil bath, that oil can leak out and actually get onto your brake drums. Once it gets onto your brake drums, it's going to compromise your brakes and it's going to make a mess back here. Grease, in my opinion, is a better system. It requires a little bit more maintenance, but overall, I think it's a safer bet, especially if you're ever concerned or if you've ever had a oil bath system leak and cause your brakes essentially to go out or fail.
And then finally, I love the fact that they can customize this trailer for you. They can make it pretty much the way you want it. They can remove things you don't need. They can remove things that add weight. They can remove things that you just don't necessarily want, but might just be included on another trailer. In my case, I wanted to take off anything that would simply add weight and I really wouldn't use. I could have added a step to the side. I could have added jacks on the back of it. I could have added stake pockets. With the wider dump body, I didn't need the stake pockets, so I didn't need to add them. I could have added a rail going down the side. I could have reinforced it. I could have put cable ties around the side for the tarping system. I could have done all sorts of things that would have simply added weight to the dry weight of this trailer, and it would have limited my legal carrying capacity up to the gross vehicle weight rating of 12,000 pounds when I'm over the road. So I chose to essentially make it look as clean as possible, take off things I didn't need, make this trailer custom to the way I wanted to use it, and at the same time, put this beautiful red color on it, which in my opinion looks really good. I am really happy with the way this trailer turned out. I think the Alcoa wheels, the J-rated 18-ply tires, 9,000-pound axles, the upgraded 7-gauge floor in this thing, plus the 8-inch, look at that 8-inch channel up front for the A-frame, front telescopic boom, tarping system, the 12,000 pound jack, dual deep cycle batteries, wireless remote to be able to lift this up and down, including the more commercial corded remote, plus the solar panel on it, the spreader gate, as well as all the other features I got on this make this the perfect dump trailer. I'm really, really anxious to use it. At the same time, I know a lot of people say the first time you use it, it's going to get all scratched up, which I completely understand and I really don't care about. I just want to get this thing working. This is such a cool trailer. Trailer. I'm really happy with the product from Texas Pride so far. Anytime I do videos, I will give you updates on how I think this thing's performing, but I don't anticipate any problems at all. This is just a very, very well-built trailer. And the folks at Texas Pride really, really go out of their way to make sure that you get the product you want the way you want it with the features that you want. And they try to get past all the gimmicky stuff that other manufacturers try to say make their trailers better. When in fact, what you're looking for is a trailer that you can use as a tool, a trailer that's going to last and a trailer that's going to give you ROI, return on your investment. The ability for you to use something like this the way you want it with the features you want at the price you need to pay. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I'll put a link to their website. They were really cool about customizing the back with my Big Truck Big RV logo. They delivered this to me. They gave me a really in-depth walkthrough. You should check out the initial video where I actually got it. I love the, uh, the flag spare tire cover. I added that. I got that on Amazon. But overall, this has been a really cool trailer. I haven't had a chance to take it out yet. I've only had it for a week and actually about a week and a half. And I plan on using it really soon and I'll film it when I do use it. But guys, really like this trailer. Hope you like it too. If you haven't had a chance, take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up. We'll talk to you again very soon.